So we've got the letter H. Yep. Which is going to be one of eleven letters to spell out the word honest Tommy. Our amazing retro sci-fi is spectacular. Exactly, to promote and, and advertise it. Yeah, big title, we'll film it on a green screen, put it in space, it'll look amazing. Fine, but it's a bit plain, isn't it? Yeah. What's it well, bit? It's made out of reconstituted cardboard, so yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's... I was you expecting something with pizzazz. A bit jazzy, a bit zhuzh. A bit more, a bit of zhuzh. Yeah. A bit more flash. Well, I don't know what to do about this. Well, I mean, that's what we've got. I, I haven't got the expertise to, to make anything out of this, and I don't know anyone who does. No, if only we did know someone. Someone, you know, creative, with nimble fingers and a winning attitude. <clears throat> Can I be of some assistance? <laughs> OMG, it's Lucy Townsend. Look who's appeared. Hi. Out of nowhere. Thank you for joining us to do some crafting on that. Uh, you're really excited about that, aren't you? I really am. <laughs> yeah. We know Lucy mainly as a brilliant actor and director, um, but also she's really good at a uh, really good drawist. Yeah, and she's going to prove now. Yeah, oh, by God, making passion. that look more, what did you call it, pizzazz? Yeah, it needs some pizzazz, it needs some zhuzh. Um, zhuzh. Some je ne sais pas. Okay, so I put together a box of random stuff, stuff. Uh, paints and things, cogs. Um, so, paintbrushes. What do you think? That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think, <laughs> Lucy? What, what are you going to do for us today? Um. Uh, yeah. I kind of like the texture idea. So, um, because it is three dimensional, it should have more three D. I think mm. the more three D. Yeah. Yeah. Not for one ninety nine. Oh, uh, <laughs> I finally <laughs> understand my worth. <laughs> so I'm just going to give it a base layer. Yeah. Okay. Start with Go that. for it. Yeah. Well, we'll just distract you while you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. What, have you gone straight, straight, straight for the brown? Sienna. Oh, sorry. Come on. It says that one thing. It does. And Sienna. With the, the, the mini set vlog mm. stuff, mm. making that, I get really impatient about not being able to paint. So you want to paint? No, I'm just saying that like, I get that thing where I have to, you have to put a lot of pieces, with what I'm doing, Right. Uh, I have to put a lot of pieces together and then paint it all at once to make it look like it's part of the same thing. I know that as soon as I give it just a flat spray of grey, do so much. Yeah, it'll make it look suddenly like it's all one piece and it's actually part of something. Is painting the favourite part? Not necessarily. I kind of like the putting the texture bits on sometimes, but getting fiddly with the knives and standing knives and cutting off stuff. But um, cutting things. Cutty things. She was excited about stuff. I, will, I love standing knives. They're great fun. Um, yeah. Although I have. You can't say standing knife. That's that's a trick. Other oh, knives are available. Other yeah. Knives, yes. It's, it's Nicey cutty things. Standard craft knife from craft shop that sells things yes. for a pound. Craft knives. Yeah. Sorry, um, I had a bit of an overdose of those for some for my sister's wedding because she hang she got me hand cutting up butterflies for like mm. a year and a half. Right. Oh wow. Um, wow. For the entire engagement, as soon as she was like, oh, I'm getting married, cut out butterflies, and um, it put me off cutting up anything. anything. How many butterflies? Too many. Do you get a chance to do this? Um, I don't get often? to paint as often as I like to, but normally when I do stuff like this, it's just me. Mm -hmm. So talking whilst doing this is a new one for it's me. It's weird, isn't it? It's yeah. very weird. Let's be silent. So what's your experience with prop making? Um, hmm. I had to make a fake cave wall once. Um, one of my first times ever directing, um, we were filming in Kent's Cavern. Yes. And obviously, World Heritage site, you can't paint on the walls. No. And um, it was required in the script that there were some cave paintings, and so we had to mimic a section of the wall. The gag was that the caveman was making little um, frames for his right. um, cave paintings. <laughs> yeah. It got the right colour but it, it really didn't, didn't match very well in yeah. the end. It was for my very first um, short as a director. Really? Yeah. Oh. It was uh, eight hours to film in the cave mm. so we had to get a whole lot done yeah. in mm. that time which was ridiculous. So how much have you directed? How many, how many films have you done? Two shorts and a feature film. Mm -hmm. Being scary crabs. Yeah. We're in it. Why not? You are actually. Somewhere, yeah, exactly. somewhere in the background. You won't oh, recognise us. I know which ones you are. Do you see? No. I was hoping for an action scene. Uh, I wanted well, to... we almost had one, didn't we? But we had to leave. Uh, and we were going to get... Oh, yes. Yeah, we were going to get run over. But by that I point, it was so late. That didn't get to happen, sadly. Did it not? Oh, that's true. No. Well, again, it was another thing where the location dictated the length of time. Mm. Very much. Yeah, didn't it? There are other really good Very moments in the film. Watch it anyway. 
it's not out yet, but yeah. No, when it's out, when it's out, watch it. Scarecrows.com! <laughs> Thank you for the plug. Is it dot com or is it dot uk? Um, dot co uk? Not sure. <sighs> Scarycrows.co.uk! Google Scarycrows! What was the experience of uh, directing Scarycrows? Oh my goodness, um... Preparation is key. Mm. <laughs> don't, uh, yeah, don't leave your shot list to the last minute. Wow. Three weeks to get, um, you know, 90 minutes worth of script mm. was intense, but we did it. Obviously, reshoot was required due mm. to technical difficulties beyond our control. Yeah. But that's all on the Kickstarter and everyone probably already knows about that. Mm -hmm. um, but did that also give you a chance to, to look at the script again and, and add some extra bits and pieces to... Um, revising the ending was probably working in our favour. I'm quite looking forward to you guys seeing it. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. 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 So there's actually some locations in it that um, don't exist anymore. No, really? really? Yeah, one of wow. our first cafe scenes in it. Um, they got burned down. Oh, whoa. <laughs> after, after you were there? Yeah. Way after we was that, uh, was there a was actually related thing? There? Was nothing that... to do with us, okay. but um, obviously there were heated um, emotions involved because it was actually awesome. Heated emotions, yeah. very good, burnt down, like it. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, always on, it always on. Also, um, the dear gentleman that then was our driver mm. for all the crew and everything else has since passed away. Oh. So I definitely can't. Just let it slip past yeah, like yeah, need yeah. to go without because he really gave us so much help and everything yeah. else, go ferrying the crew and cast it all mm. all, yeah, yeah. all hours of the day, always there for us, Paul Dell, it was lovely. The more complex a project is, you kind yeah. of get that great feeling afterwards that it does feel like it's a memorial, even if just because you achieved it. It's also more of a like community thing, because like yeah. particularly in the southwest, film is so few and far between that mm -hmm. it's still got the novelty value. They get behind you and like yeah. actually get interested in Yeah, yeah I, I, in. Think, I think Scarecrows has got that. It, it's slightly an event. I mean, yeah. things haven't happened. It, yeah. A lot of people have heard about it and it's been like a big sort of... <laughs> Which is yeah, bizarre because like people are like, oh you're the such and such from yeah, Scarecrows. I'm like, what? Right, I've now gotten myself into a situation where I'm not going to be able to paint this without getting it all over my fingers. Ah. Well, we knew that's so, going to happen. Yeah. I get super gluey fingers. Ah, yes, looking forward well, to that. Um, yeah, I, and you have to peel, peel it off. It's kind of hard on that because it's super glue. I actually have to, I normally use a sharp blade and sort of like scrape it off. No, I'm sure we I see, I don't have that. <laughs> probably not. Is that based, is it isopropyl alcohol or is it something else? Um, or is it acetone? It's probably acetone. Acetone. Uh, Call in if you know what it is. Yeah. The comment section. Yeah. You dare. Email the web address that Tom's now going to put up. <laughs> You'll link that. I just did it. Yeah. Oh, right. Just did it. Oh, a superhero. So when is this going to turn into a paint fight? Uh, whenever you want. Probably when. You're in charge. Of whenever. No. Well, <laughs> well, this is all the white paint. The paint fight would be fun, but I don't think. Not right now. Not right now. Maybe for the last episode. Yeah. At your house. <laughs> okay. That's looking very nice. Hopefully. Yeah. It's quite uh, it's vibrant. Yeah, it's vibrant. We didn't just ask Lucy as a friend and fellow filmmaker and actor, randomly to come and visit. It's also because uh, Lucy is going to play the part of Princess Victoria in all this topic. And also, uh, Lucy's helped us a lot with giving us advice, reading the scripts and mm. stuff like that early on as well. Recently I picked up a gun, a oh, yeah. toy gun. I showed Lucy a picture of it and she was really over excited because it's the Princess Victoria gun and it's it's pretty pretty nice. And it was really sweet how excited you were. It made me Like, oh yeah, get, um, you get a nice holster and everything, it's going to be yeah. great. Well, we've been discussing this, haven't we? Giving Victoria um, a bit of a Han Solo style get up away from the dresses and, and things. She wants yeah. you know, the, the holster for the blaster and the sort of, kind of funky sort of coat and jacket and things. Yes. Yeah. Because in, uh, in the first scene, in the first episode, she's in the middle of an alien invasion mm. and she just packs her bag and she has all her adventure gear and she goes fights her way through. Mm -hmm. Which so you is, plan for these things. Exactly. She, she knows how the universe works. She'll always be in danger. There'll be a we're all yeah. warlord, or there'll be a black hole she can fall into, so she's... Sure. She's prepared. Spoilers? Christ. She might not. <laughs> I imagine she'll get out of it, probably. There, there may have been a spoiler poo there. Somewhere out there in the world. You don't know which one. There was a spoiler poo. Yeah. Can I just ask, what are you actually doing? Is it not obvious? You're, you're, you're painting around that. Uh, are you then going to cut that out? Yeah. So, okay. Because I don't have a pencil. I, I could have given you a pencil. You could have. <laughs> Well, if you'd, <laughs> if you'd said, I need a pencil, 
I'm just in, you know embodying the Princess Victoria, and she's a problem solver. So okay, you know. you're solving a problem. Solving a problem. Yeah. Your I problem. don't have a pencil. <laughs> I will use paint. Your pencil. You're saying the problem is me. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't have a pencil. I will use paint. Okay. Did you ever hear the um, Cold War story about pens versus pencils? No. Basically, the US spent millions designing a pen that would mm. work in outer space. Right. The Russians used a pencil. <laughs> Snopes, the, the website that debunks oh, certain theories. Okay. I don't know if they proved it or disproved it, but if graphite would break in space, then its little bits would go everywhere and get to machinery. Oh, which would be I don't know. Yeah. But I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's the mm. old wives' tale or whatever. I don't know. Mm. Well, so look it up. Astronauts get in touch. Yeah. Astronauts. Yeah, astronauts aren't going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> they might. Well, they might actually. I'd love it if they did. Yeah, well, Chris great. Hadfield is really going to watch this, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. What else are they doing up there? Exactly. Well, yeah. Yeah. He's down here now. Once again, I have to ask, what are you doing? Making hands. Ah, I see. Let's put that nuclear on. Um, With the um, adhesive of non-specific... Uh, I think super glue is alright. You can say super glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can say it. super glue. So not a Hoover situation? No. Okay, good. Really? Are you into the more hard sci-fi or uh, science fantasy? Um, well... I came a bit late to Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. Um, I was a Star Wars girl growing yeah. up. That's a great answer. Um, but I do enjoy Star Trek more next you know, generation rather than the original mm -hmm. series. I don't think yeah. I've actually ever seen a full episode of the original series. It's weird. Yeah. I would like to because I like Nemoy. Um, yeah. But um, what's not to like about Nemoy? But Shatner, I think, might be a little bit much for me. <laughs> He's not bad. I've always wanted to play the game Shatner. Uh, what, yes. what game? You've not heard of the No! Game. At any random point in time, you can just point at someone and go, Shatner! And they have to overact whatever they're doing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> and the protected pauses hey, as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, that kind of, yeah. That's the, yeah. It's the physicality as well as the extended pauses and the. Yeah. And, and the, you know, really. Complete overacting. Kind of. Yeah, look. It's less him, and it's more just the, the, the writing is very dated. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's of its time. Yeah. But for the time, it was progressive, wasn't it? And actually, yeah. there were breaking boundaries. Yeah. It female, is, it's uh, just retrospectively, yes. which, yeah. you know, yeah. um, which is progressive. The fact that her could wear a short skirt was progressive. Yes. At the time. Yes. Yeah. First that's interracial that's kiss on that's TV. That's the problem yeah. with yeah. hindsight. You know, yeah. It's yeah. always tainted yeah, by the current yeah. um, level mm. of accepted parameters. Mm. Well, the, the interracial kiss, is. Shatner, um, he, he mocked up the other takes, didn't he, on purpose? So that it was blocked. Yes. Yeah. So they had to use that take where they went for it. They were going to hide it so that it wasn't on the screen. You couldn't actually see it. So it was implied. Yeah. But so that would get through the censors. Really? Supposedly. But he deliberately made it. Didn't know that. Shatner facts. Go, William Shatner. Yeah. That's cool. And everyone's going to learn to play the game Shatner now. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, you got the old the old brush in the mouth thing and sure. from, it's proper. This is arty. Yes. Arty. This is what you do when you You're lucky arty. I haven't put it in my hair yet. Okay. You're gonna get paint on your hair if you do that. No, I use it as a stick. Like you know, you get hair sticks on your Don't throw me on the Sorry. Oh <laughs> sorry, that was a bit much of a scissors. <laughs> um 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 what's your thoughts about Brian Blessed wanting to be Doctor Who? Well fine, he was in it, wasn't he? Yeah, mm -hmm. why not? In Baker's in it. Yeah. He could do it, I suppose, why not? Um, you have to watch his art. He's what? He's oh, an yeah. art. He's <laughs> got a dicky heart, isn't he? Seeing Brian Blessed doing anything yeah. is, is an absolute treat. Yeah, standing is the standing. best word. Yeah. I'd like just to hang out with him for the weekend, just watch him do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know? What's happened now? What have you done? Um, yeah, so I've kind of added a few. Uh, yeah. Now. Is that the way up it is going to be? No, it's going to be, it's gonna be yeah, that way. I think that's right. Yeah. Check it out. She glued cogs on it! <laughs> and you've got plans to do water? Plans, Exciting plans. Lollipop sticks. Yep. Good old lollipop sticks. Gonna yep. metallic them up. Mm -hmm. Be another day, I'm afraid. I, yeah, no, I think it's going to need a part two. Yeah, we're going to do a part two. But uh, up to this stage, yeah. thank you no for coming along and uh, making a mess in my courtyard. It's ace. Making our first letter. Yeah. Hey. It's always nice to hang out. And uh, yeah. It's brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, anyway. Cheers. Laters, everyone. What's that? What's that? We're doing that? Yeah, I can write that. <laughs> Honest. Okay.